Uh, let's uh, now try and catch up with my other colleague, Simpiwe Makanya. He has more from the Bluff area. Well, KwaZulu Natal is still counting the cost following the floods uh, that uh, actually took place this uh, past weekend. A number of people were forced to vacate their homes for their safety following these uh, devastating floods uh, that uh, took place. But in, in terms of the situation on the ground, I can certainly tell you that uh, a lot of infrastructure has been, you know, left damaged, including the houses uh, where we are. We are coming to you from the Bluff area, which is uh, just south of Durban. But just get a sense in terms of the extent of the damage we are joined by the mayor of uh, the Etiquini municipality that's uh, Mayor Mkolisi Kaunda Bimbi thank you very much for your time in terms of your uh, preliminary assessment of the situation on the ground how is it looking like? It's uh, indeed it's a double blow because you remember we're still recovering from the April floods and we've, we've put some remedial um, interventions in place especially to repair our water infrastructure and electricity. But uh, most of these infrastructural uh, assets have been washed away again. So it also impacts on the money that we spend, the costing part of it, that we need to spend another money now to ensure that we reinstate uh, all these uh, uh, facilities that we have put in place. Uh, remember that um, the houses were also severely affected even over the weekend, especially the northern part of uh, our city, your Tongat, your Lamesi, your Mjoti, up to here on the southern part of the city, uh, Bluff and the surrounding areas. So we, we did experience uh, and incurred a lot of damages uh, in the roads, uh, in the bridges and the water infrastructure and electricity. But we are happy to report that most of areas which were affected through a uh, service uh, of electricity, uh, we have reinstated the services uh, to many communities around the city. Uh, those who are remaining definitely by today, uh, they will also join others to enjoy access to power. Speaking of the extent of the damage, Mayor, uh, during uh, the April's f uh, floods, uh, the national government did make a commitment of one billion rand in terms of assisting the provincial government in the rebuilding process. Has that money been made available to the province? What is the status of that money? Not as yet. Uh, we know that we have submitted uh, reports uh, which were informed by the work that we've conducted in terms of assessing the uh, magnitude of damages that incurred and the costing part. So we have forwarded uh, those uh, costing to the national government and we are hopeful that they will be looking at it. But we said we are not going to be folding our arms. We had to reprioritize our own funding within the municipality uh, to prioritize as, at least restoring services back to our communities. Uh, we're targeting water and electricity, which were our main priority, uh, as well as sanitation, because most of our bulk sewer lines were severely damaged. As a result, they were now starting to leak towards our rivers and the streams uh, to the beach. So the work has already started, especially to fix the bulk pipes which were damaged. Do we know at this point in terms of the number of people that have been evacuated from their homes, especially in the Etegwini municipality? For now, we are seated at more than 50 people that were evacuated, uh, but we are still conducting assessments because some of the structures are no longer in good shape. So we'll have to uh, evacuate people and get them into shelters where they'll be safe. And those who can afford to go to relatives or to go to hotels, they'll do so. But what is important is to save life. That is our primary objective. Thank you very much for your time, Mayor. Thank you. That's the mayor of uh, Eteguini Metropolitan, that's Mkoli um, Sikawunda, who was giving us an update in terms of the situation uh, unfolding on the ground. Uh, of course, he's not alone. He's joined by the MEC for Transport in the province, that's MEC Peking Konyan. Thank you very much for your time, MEC. As you drive to these areas visiting various communities that have been affected, you notice a lot of you know, uh, 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 damage to the roads, infrastructure. How how bad is the situation and also just your rough estimate in terms of the cost that are going to be incurred as a result of this? Uh, thank you very much. Indeed, uh, we were the, I believe we are, we are the hardest hit uh, as the Department of Transport uh, in the province of Wazul Natal compared to other departments. Of course, there are other departments uh, that were uh, negatively impacted upon uh, by this flooding that has occurred. We were still uh, trying to deal with the refurbishment of roads, especially your M4 
around the areas of La Messi, Umlodi, and all those areas, uh, whereby the, there was a, a, a crack on the road. The road was just divided into two, and people could not travel on that particular road. But now, wh- while we were still trying, um, uh, by all means, to ensure that uh, the, road, the road is traversable, this other flood now happens in the month of May. You know, we face flooding on, uh, in the, uh, during the month of April, and again in the month of May. It is really disastrous, and our people are really, really devastated in the province of Wazul Natam. We are very happy that uh, we have not lost a, a lot of lives uh, during this uh, current flooding of May, uh, but of, because we were a, a little bit ready compared to other periods uh, where uh, these uh, flood damages happened, as the entire uh, province of KwaZulu Natal working with municipalities. Of course, with regards to um, our assessments, we have conducted assessments during the previous flooding um, period, uh, during um, the April month. We submitted, you know, our um, uh, figures, estimated figures to the National uh, Disaster Management Center. Uh, we, were hope, we are hoping uh, that they will be responding soon. That is the report that we actually received received uh, last night when we were having our own provincial disaster management um, committee uh, which is uh, presided over by the MEC for COCTA that uh, the national department the, the national disaster management uh, center is looking at, our, at all our reports uh, that we had submitted as the province of Kwazunata. Of course uh, this is an addition when we were um, engaging the National Disaster Management uh, Center, they said we need uh, to to do an addendum uh, to what we had submitted as the province of KwaZulu Natal. Because, of course, uh, from our uh, 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 current budget, we were not expecting this. You know, so we don't have any 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 funding allocated for the for these disasters in our. Um, uh, fiscus currently, provincial fiscus. We will be expecting the national uh, government to also intervene, but we have uh, um, uh, conducted uh, 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 our reprioritization uh, process as the department. We have now reprioritized. That is why we are currently intervene, uh, uh, intervening. As you, as you can see, that uh, our yellow fleet is already on the road. Our uh, human capital is already there trying to fix those roads and bridges. It might take time uh, in some of the road infrastructure and, 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 and bridges um, the projects, but uh, we are there uh, trying to fast track everything through the emergency procurement and of course working with our own internal teams uh, in the department. Speaking of trying to fast track everything, MEC, people may, may be asking themselves how long is it going to take for the the Department of Transport in the province to fix these damaged uh, roads and bridges? Uh, it might take uh, close to six months for, for the, that La Messi bridge in particular. That is what um, the Sandral, because we are working with Sandral as an agency of government, uh, we, we posed the very same question this morning when we were engaging with them. They said um, they are estimating a period of uh, around six months. Uh, they, they are not sure because they are still conducting assessments uh, but um, uh, we will uh, soon uh, get the proper period of time that will be utilized by them thank you very much for the time thank you so That's much MEC for transport community safety and liaison in Guazul Natal MEC Peking Konyeni I believe that we have a local councillor in the area let's just have a word with you in terms of the relief efforts that have been you know uh, put in place to assist these people who have been affected by these floods Thank you very much. Well, what we do is we have a lot of work on the ground. At a grassroots level, we have street groups. We have um, our ward committee people that are committed to helping the local CPF. And so what we do is we coordinate everything that needs to be done. We talk to each other 24 hours through the disaster times. We tell people where does somebody need to be rescued from, where do people need to be displaced to. And uh, we make sure that everybody knows the disasters that are happening. I'm very pleased this time around that this was the worst 
problem that we had in our area. And we took it upon ourselves through Metro, through help with SAPs, closing off roads that had mudslides, which were cleared by the morning. The city responded very quickly the next day to our issues. In fact, this mudslide made it all the way through three properties, right down to the main road. But the next morning, there was heavy trucks to come and move the sand out the way. So... I'm very grateful. Our infrastructure wasn't terribly damaged. We had some uh, lights that went out that have already been restored. Our water's in the taps. And for a councillor, that is the most important thing, you know, to keep the, the, the water flowing and the lights on. And then, of course, I'm very, very grateful. When I reported this to disaster management yesterday, through our... Um, local building inspectorate because we had in fact been speaking about this for the past eight weeks and this is the second time this house is filled with mud so I thought this is an opportunity to tell disaster management what is going on in this area on the bluff because to me this is a few steps before Amsloti when you have building taking place that is actually causing these kind of landslides it has to be taken very seriously and so as a councillor I'm so grateful that we have this meeting today that I'm able to show what is happening here and we're able to prevent something happening and it gives me great pride in my area. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, thank you. Well, there you have it. These are the voices of local authorities here in KwaZulu-Natal as they crisscross the province trying to ascertain the extent of the damage that has been, you know, uh, 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 suffered by the people of KwaZulu-Natal following these uh, floods. Of course, the mayor saying that uh, they are working tirelessly to ensure that uh, uh, they bring the situation back to normality. It's back to enjoy and respect for now.